Thanks for staying with us. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Still cloudy out there. A little bit of light fog, some drizzle and some mist at times, and it's it's a chilly one out there. And bundle up if you're headed outdoors, headed over to the holiday lights parade. You're going to want to bundle up as well. 35. It feels more like 27. Those winds out of the south and southeast at around 10 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere close to or just above freezing. The coldest off to our east, 30 in Wadena, 31 Bemidji, 32 in Detroit Lake. Still some slick spots over in parts of Minnesota and northeastern and North Dakota. And as temperatures continue to drop on off and we continue to see some drizzle and some mist, we could see some of that begin to freeze on the road surfaces out there. So we could still see some more slick conditions develop as we head through the next several hours. Winds out of the south and southeast, 5 to 15 miles per hour. And that's how they'll continue as we head through the rest of the night. A lot of cloud cover out there. We're going to see cloudy skies over the next couple of days. And those clouds continuing to slide off towards the north and the northeast. Mostly lower clouds in much of the area. Some thicker clouds off towards the east. Another band of snow trying to develop. And we'll continue to watch that as we head through the next few hours. Could see some lighter snows develop in this area. And could be some light accumulations, maybe a quarter to a half an inch to perhaps some isolated areas of an inch of snow where that band does set up. The heavier snow, the sleet, the freezing rain, and the plain old rain well off to our east. It looked yesterday like this system would be a little bit further north and give us a little bit more snow in our area, but it's staying off to the south. So some sloppy weather for parts of uh, Iowa into southern Minnesota where it switches over to some freezing precipitation. The Twin Cities getting a mixed bag of precipitation at this hour. It's going to be a tough go of it for commuters in that area. Rain stretches all the way down the Mississippi Valley into parts of eastern Texas. A little bit more rain in the Oklahoma and Texas Panhandles, northeastern Arizona, northeastern New Mexico, southeastern Colorado, and a new storm system approaching the west coast with lots of rain and higher elevation snows. For us, as we head through the rest of the evening, we'll watch that band of snow to see where exactly it sets up. And again, you could see a half an inch to an inch of snow where that sets up later on this evening. And temperatures will slowly drop on off to right around freezing. So even if you don't get the snow, you're still going to see the drizzle, the mist, and sand, standing water across the area. That's going to freeze as well. As we head towards tomorrow morning, that snow finally starts to pull on out of here. And it'll be a cold morning. There'll still be some slick spots out there with everybody dropping below freezing. And as we head through the day tomorrow, maybe a few isolated flurries in the morning. Other than that, a cloudy day, a chilly day out there. And Maybe an isolated flurry as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. Those winds out of the north tomorrow around 5 to 15 miles per hour. As we head through the next couple of days, we have that winter weather advisory in effect until 7 o'clock. 30 to start off the day here in the Fargo-Moorhead area with a few flurries. By lunchtime, not much of a warm-up. Only into the lower 30s and we'll top off in the mid-30s with cloudy skies and maybe an isolated flake of snow. Picture of the day. A snowy morning flight. Check that out. The snow falling, taken on off. Thanks to Melody for sending that in. We're going to use that as the background to our seven-day forecast. Some morning flurries on your Wednesday. Thanksgiving Day, mid-30s, and we have a chance for some snow, especially across the southern parts of the valley. This time it looks like very light snow. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday improving weather into the 40s over the weekend, but then... Another storm system moves in Monday and Tuesday, and that could bring significant snows to parts of the valley, but that's a long way off. Mm -hmm. We'll continue to monitor that. And you know someone's bound to love it, you know, snowmobilers, things like that. I Motors, like snow. They like the snow, yeah. yeah. But I like the 70-degree weather we had a week and a half ago, that's too. That's true, that's so, true. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm. Here's a live look at the Moorhead Center Mall where spectators are lining up, singers right there, in anticipation of a tree lighting in the holiday lights parade. Sounds wonderful. We'll take you there next. Giving ear to what we say, news.